we got an exclusive from Aptera answering viewer questions. This was a viewer comment and uh, that I received on a past uh, on a recent uh, Aptera video. Uh, specific questions and concerns were mentioned. Uh, I promised a, ref a response to the, uh, the submitter. Uh, I sent it to Aptera. They delivered fast. This video, not so fast, sorry. Uh, took me a while to get this together. Cover the main topics brought up here uh, from the viewer email. This is direct from uh, Media Relations uh, or and or Aptera Corporate. Here we go. Let's start with the first question. This is the actual uh, text that was on the uh, response on the video. And this is AG, we're going to call them. AG, I was going to post this to this video. You're, you're just going to have to watch this general video to get your response. So the first, he's, he's asked a number of different questions and made some points here. First one is, use your discount link, went to their site, and it was still $100. Okay, let me start by saying I have a discount link. Okay, this is the answer from uh, Aptera. And everyone, there is a referral link in the description of this video. It's very easy to, to use. You click on it. I have tested it, and we have this backup from Aptera. It does work. Let me just go through the particulars here. Um, use the link and receive 30% off their pre order deposit of $100, uh, which is refundable. So if you want to put a pre-order in for Aptera, use the link, and there's a $100 deposit. If you use the link, you will get a $30 discount, and it will only be a $70 deposit, which, by the way, is refundable should you decide to change your mind. So in any case, we say here, use the, uh, use the link. After the person you refer selects their vehicle configuration, so you select the battery type, the color, and so forth, uh, and any additional upgrades for the pre-order, they will be directed to the checkout page, okay? So, when you uh, configure it, it's going to say $100 deposit. So, in other words, when it's in the shopping cart, it's going to say $100 deposit. Only when you proceed to the next step at checkout uh, will the $30 deposit discount towards the pre-order uh, be applied when payment details are requested. So it appears as though you're not getting the discount or that the link doesn't work. The link does work. You do get the discount. Uh, you have to um, proceed to the checkout when payment details are requested. Boop! The $30 discount will be applied. So uh, it's at the end of the process, not the beginning of the process, where the discount is applied. Um, just a side note from them here. If you try to reserve a vehicle through a referral link, the website will read $100 due. The Aptera website will read $100 due until you reach the checkout page. Okay, so as long as it's in the card, it's going to say $100 due. When you get to the checkout page... The 30% discount is applied. And this has caused some confusion. Uh, we're unsure of an easy fix. They say they're unsure of an easy fix at this time. This, this referral program has been up for quite a while. There's a lot of referrals. I'm sure um, they don't want to uh, mess, uh, mess up the past referrals and so on and so forth. But anyway, let's just go to the summary on this. On the referral program. It works. You just have to get to the checkout page to have the $30 discount applied. Okay? Once they ask for payment information, boom, it'll be discounted from $100 to $70. Uh, Aptera knows you're confused. It does not appear immediately, and they are working on it. So, in other words, when you configure it, your it's going to say deposit due 100 When you get to checkout, when you apply the payment method, the $30 discount will be applied. 
So that's the way the system works. They know everybody's confused about it, but uh, because it doesn't appear immediately, but they're working on it. So the link works. I have a link in this description. Please use the link to pre-order an Aptera. Uh, I believe there's about 18,000 orders right now. Um, their first year production is going to be about 10,000 estimated. So uh, getting an order in now is going to ensure that you're going to probably be able to get um, your Aptera by 20. 23 perhaps okay um moving on to, i hope that solves that problem moving on to the next question many customers and this is uh ag second question many customers will be from overseas they do not offer any shipping cost information guidance and he goes on to comment it's unprofessional and so forth let's see what aptera has to say about shipping costs and international sales this is aptera's response we plan to sell aptera worldwide that's always been the the um, intention uh, though it may take some time to be fully certified um, i'm going to try to put a link here one of these little things up in the corner to my previous uh, video on homologation that is what we're talking about here. Uh, and we'll go through this on the summary of this response. So they are planning. Uh, it's going to take some time to get certified. They're going to be announcing further details on the timeline, pricing, and delivery information via your after, Aptera US account page uh, closer to the start of initial US deliveries towards late 2022, which is Q4 2022. You will get an Aptera US account page when you order an Aptera and that's pretty easy to work with and this is where they're going to announce the <clears throat> details on the shipping and international sales and so forth now I have a summary here this is the shipping cost question international sales are coming and again I'm going to try to put a link to my last video here or certainly in the description about homologation uh, when they say they, it's going to take some time to certify, uh, homologation is a term that's used in the auto industry, other industries too perhaps, where they have to meet certain requirements in every country they plan to sell the car to. Now the EU is considered, considered I guess, one country, but there are some minor differences in between the countries. Uh, North America, Canada, South America, then you get into Asia. The point is, this homologation process um, is a way of certifying the vehicle across all these geographic areas. And it's complex, and uh, there's a lot of detail that has to go into it. Every part has to be listed. Every part has to be certified. Every uh, requirement for each uh, and law has to be followed for each independent uh, uh, thing, uh, country. So, um, it's a, a complex. Uh, Lord's Time Motors is going through this right now, and uh, this is uh, what's going to happen now. Let me, and it says details will be allowed, uh, announced late 2022 on your Aptera account page. You have an order, there's going to be an account page, uh, fourth quarter 2022. We're going to announce it. Just let me say one thing about international sales. Aptera is planning on using a Dodge Viper model for manufacturing this vehicle uh, designed by Sandy Monroe. Um, this is a variable. This is a factory that can be upsized or downsized depending on demand. And what they're going to do is they're going to have basically six components that are going to be supplied uh, by Aptera and by first tier suppliers to the automotive industry. These uh, basically six components are going to be shipped to this factory and they're going to be uh, assembled at this factory and the, the cars, the, the Aptera is going to be built there and, and shipped out of there. Now, 
uh, these factories or these uh, micro factories, I guess you could call them, are going to be placed where the highest demand is for the vehicle. Um, if there's a lot of demand uh, for Apteras in uh, the UK, they're going to put one in the UK. Um, so this is going to be a factor with the shipping costs. It's going to make shipping costs less. Um, but those are the plans of Aptera. That's how it's going to work. Uh, anyway, international sales, yes. Homongolation, yes. Details, uh, late uh, 2022 on your account page. Third question. Uh, I think this is the third question. I have two down here. Huh. Uh, now, he's talking about using a key your phone uh, as the key for uh, the vehicle. And he also asked a question about whether it's the, the uh, auto system is going to be Android auto and so forth. Um, let me just add, in addition to this email response, uh, Aptera has a lot of videos and seminars online on different aspects of the vehicle that go into great detail. Uh, I remember from the past uh, viewings that there are uh, a number of, um, of these videos about the um, auto system, the, the control system, uh, the operating system of the vehicle, and so forth, and it's designed, and it's ongoing. Uh, now, as far as the... Uh, so, you can look, look up those videos. That's a very good source for all this information on this to get, get an idea of what what they're talking about now we're talking now the main issue here is he's talking about doesn't want to use his phone as a key uh, what happens if it gets lost or damaged okay so uh, let's see here this is um, they're going to add facts on the website uh, to the U of user interface system and the phone acting as a key key uh, Okay, so they're working on it. Um, th this is just a basic uh, rundown of how it's going to work. Uh, the vehicle will recognize that as you trying to open the door, we have not made a final selection on this. And they're going to use proximity uh, detection to unlock the doors. You're going to use either Bluetooth via smartphone, through an app, uh, through a you know uh, a proximity key like the uh, Rivian has that little thing you can clip on your belt and carry around Tesla uh, in, in addition to using your phone or an app they have a, a card uh, that you touch on a, on a spot on the car these are all um, possibilities um, they haven't they haven't finalized this design yet I would imagine this has to do with a lot of things, including supply chain. Um, once inside, you can open the door through the center screen controls. Um, so the driver's side door will be opened, and the other one we will open with the screen. <clears throat> now, let me, uh, the doors will have manual pull handle for emergencies, though. So there's going to be a manual override as well. Okay, this is very cool. When you're in the Aptera, it is on. There's no buttons to start. You just put it in gear and go. Very cool. The vehicle uh, recognizes you, and uh, you don't have to fumble. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to enter any code. Boom. Uh, the vehicle will automatically lock itself when you leave. So you leave, it automatically locks itself. It recognizes uh, you're not inside. And there's going to be further information on this whole system once we have finalized the design. Uh, we have a solution in place which will allow access to the vehicle without a mobile device. Uh, I'll be able to provide final uh, solution closer to the uh, start of production. So um, I hope that gives you an idea. Let's just go through the summary response on this. The uh, door will open when you approach. Uh, the method is not finalized yet, uh, but the cell phone will not be the only way that this is going to be enabled. 
Um, and once you get in the car, so you walk up, door will open, get in, it will just run, and then when you exit, it will lock automatically. So uh, this is a very cool system. Uh, Tesla has a similar system. I'm sure Rivian, I've not looked into it, has a very similar system. So, no, the cell phone will not be the only means of entry. They are going to work on a fax page uh, regarding this. And again, um, there are a number of videos on different aspects of the car that will likely include comments on this. So, uh, that's the answer on the phone key. I hope that was clear. Um, this is just a summary on the Aptera response. This was very quick and professional by uh, Aptera. It took me some time to get this video together. I'm sorry about that. Um, they covered the key points uh, that this uh, viewer asked well. There are some aspects um, generally, uh, you know, uh, not enough information and so forth, but uh, the key points were covered very well by Aptera. Uh, they gave solid answers, and honestly, best response I've gotten so far from a company when I send questions in. Uh, it's honest, uh, and it inspires confidence, in my opinion, I have down here. You know, when they say they don't have something finished, you know, they're not saying, oh, that's, uh, we're going to do that, and it's going to be great. You know, they say, hey, we're working on it. We're going to let you know when we're finished. This is how we're, what we're planning now. This is very transparent, uh, a very kind of honest uh, response. Um, you know, I, I've done some background. I have a video on the founders. They have a very transparent, very honest uh, appeal uh, to their character as well, and it's reflected in the company. So that's that's a, another big plus uh, by Aptera. Overall, I give it a star, gold star. That should be gold, not gray. Okay, so um, Aptera, uh, I have down here, building a new vehicle from scratch, and many systems are still being worked out and finalized. Um, there was an Aptera before. Uh, the body design is based on this, on that Aptera, because that is an optimal design. It has been tweaked and improved, but you got to understand this is the Aptera 2 This is a completely new vehicle, clean sheet, from the ground up, absolutely, I mean, other than the shape, very little relationship to the prior uh, Aptera. So, uh, they are, you know, there's uh, prototype, alpha, beta, and pre-production vehicle. They're now in the beta stage, okay? And uh, the beta stage is going to work out all of these systems. It's going to be very close uh, to production, um, and that's the stage they're at. And they haven't finalized the betas. Uh, they've built a few, they've built a number of them, but... They're still working on it, so we have to give them uh, some time to do this. We have to have confidence in the design and engineering teams involved, and I, I do. I think uh, I think they're doing a great job. They got Roush involved. They got Sandy Monroe involved. These are some top tier players. So that's where we are with uh, Aptera, and also we we have to cut uh, Aptera some slack, in my opinion. Uh, the response to the Aptera 2A, based on my channel stats, is exploding. Uh, there is growing interest in this vehicle. Um, so you can expect the website to run slow at times and so forth. Um, this vehicle, as I said in my last uh, video, is... Uh, is the new uh, VW Bug only better? And the VW Bug was the most manufactured vehicle ever made. And it still holds that record. So, um, you know, execution is everything and finance is everything. But certainly, um, this vehicle has the potential to be a really big game changer. And uh, I think we got to allow them to develop it. Okay, uh, this is MXUX. I hope you liked the video.
Thanks for watching. Oh, uh, use uh, the referral code link in the description and put your order in. You will get a $30 discount. Thanks a lot. Just a quick uh, note here. The discount code in the description. Cut and paste into your browser or if it's highlighted in blue, you can just click on it. You'll get your 30% off your deposit when you get to the checkout stage of the transaction. Thanks a lot for watching. This is MXUX. If you're going to order, use the discount code. It's well worth it. Thanks for watching, guys.